I'm Fabrizio, aka Golden Dives. In these episodes, I'm in southern Italy. I'm exploring and looking for treasures and beauty. In the previous episode, you have seen treasures and beauty from the most famous places of this area. Today's episode will be action packed because we are gonna visit a cave that will turn out to be a scam. A very elaborate but at the same time simple scam, very unnerving, especially for the tourists, and we will see it in the detail later. Then we're gonna visit a famous salt field teeming with wildlife and amazing landscapes. And then we're gonna do some good old treasure hunting. So stay tuned because it's gonna be a good one. So now we are arriving to the Grotte di Castellana. And I'm just next to the entrance. And you can see the tall tower that marks the entrance of the caves just behind me. I can't wait to go to check out these caves. Here everything is still fine, even if I had already started to feel like a cash cow. Everyone arriving by car has to pay not only the entrance fee, but also the parking spot. Okay, here we are, looks like there is a little bit of queue, and so I'll see you inside. Now, just for comparison, think about that the entrance fee in Paris for the Louvre Museum is 15 euro, but most of people can go inside just showing the ID card, and the entrance fee for the Vatican Museum in Rome is 17 euro. But in these museums you have thousands of masterpieces of art and culture, and you can take photos. At the Grotte di Castellana, the tickets get checked carefully, and then you can have a first glimpse of the entrance of the cave. So I just entered the cave and there is a super long stairway bringing down to the cave level. At this point with this spectacular entrance, I had completely forgotten about the hefty entrance fee and the parking fee, so I was in a very good mood, because I was unaware of the fact that I had already been tricked, as well as all the other tourists in the cave with me. All the tourists, when we arrived in the cave from the tunnel, took their phones out, their cameras out, and started making photos of the place, as it is obvious in the age of Instagram, YouTube, and WhatsApp, and the social media. But these are also the last images that you will see of this cave in my video. After this point it was impossible to take more videos and photos. Guys, I, I have a very bad news. I'm at the bottom of this hole and basically this is the only thing that is allowed to be filmed today. Because the guide told us that uh, after this passage here um, it will become uh, illegal to make uh, any videos because uh, there are copyrights in the caves. I think that it's um, BS. I'm really disappointed. I'm going to do the tour now and I will tell you how it was, but uh, I'm so disappointed. And that's the moment you realize that you have been scammed. Because they should have told me before I paid for the ticket that it was forbidden to take photos. Everybody was shocked when the guide started yelling Hey, put the phones away, the photo are forbidden, no photo, no photo. No photo sign is being carefully hidden so that people don't change their minds in front of the ticket office because they don't see any interdiction of taking photos. There should be a sign next to the ticket office saying that it's forbidden to take any photos inside the cave. In my case, there's no way that I would have ever paid for a ticket to go inside those caves if I knew that photos were not allowed. I'm walking out of the caves now, I just finished the tour. I think that you shouldn't come to visit these caves because they are so uh, customer unfriendly. They were yelling at the tourists to not take videos is not written anywhere until you get in the caves. Then you get in the caves, you take your phone out, you take the camera out, and the, the guys will start yelling, hey, you can't take a photo, you can't take a video, it's forbidden. I think it's just shameful. So my suggestion is that you shouldn't come to these caves. So here I am in front also of the ticket office, and there's no sign that it's not allowed to take any photos inside. They, they don't say it anywhere. I went inside from this door, and there is also no sign here at all. 
And then on the side of this door, there is a little sign here saying no photos allowed. Uh, of course, all of these people are going inside now. They have no idea that they cannot take any photos. When you are planning to visit Italy, go to museums, go to visit the nice things, go to visit the architectural beauties and the landscapes, but don't go to visit the caves. Honestly, I've seen much better caves in Indonesia, in Japan and in other parts of the world where you could take videos and the guides were very friendly. Here you can see a short extract of when I was in Indonesia on Maluku Island visiting the Popogu Caves. You can see the full video of my channel, I will leave the link in the description. And that, yes, was a hell of a funny cave exploration worthwhile. Make a like to this video if you think that after paying a ticket entrance, pictures and videos should be allowed in caves. So you can help change this silly rule and make a difference. Hey guys, I'm still so disappointed about the fact that I couldn't film in the caves. I had to do something about it, so I came here to these salt fields. This place is unbelievable. I saw it when I was traveling around here. Behind me you can see there is a huge mountain of salt on which a conveyor belt collapsed. All the drone footages that you are going to see from this place have been taken from outside the boundaries of the park. In Italy and actually in all Europe you must have a drone driving license and when you study to get this license which I have you study that you cannot fly in any country park or regional park or natural parks in Italy or in Europe because there's a reason. The birds there might be scared and leave the area if they are threatened by a drone, by a new by something that could spook them and chase them away from their natural habitat. It looks like snow, just like frozen snow. So incredible. Maybe I can go over it. Crazy! <laughs> it's like snow, but it's it's hot. It's dry. It doesn't melt like the snow, it's salt. Wow! <laughs> it's like being in winter in Siberia. <laughs> but actually, I'm in Puglia. Then it was time to go underwater again for some treasure hunting. My god, <laughs> oh my god, I never found a cross. My first gold cross. No, it can't be fake. Let me check the weight. No, it's not fake. This is gold. Oh, wow. 
Wow! Look at this! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! From this beautiful and unusual place, I wish you a good week. See you the next time. If you are not subscribed yet, make it right. You can subscribe now. And as usual, I leave you with this beautiful sunset.